It's very simple and it always works. This is a very simple way to create the reality that you love and you want in your personal life. We simply turn into low vibration recycling factory. And now my bonus point. I've been planning to do this video for a very, very long time. It's one of my favorite topics to talk about. I educated all the members of my family and all of my friends. And in today's video, I would love to speak about how to change your reality, how to change your life and why affirmations don't work. This video is gonna consist of four parts. In part number one, we will be talking about thoughts versus emotions and why affirmations don't work. In part two, we will be talking about how to actually start experiencing high vibration emotions in a sustainable way. In part three, we will be talking about a very easy and simple strategy to start creating your life, to change your life today, something that I use for the longest time. And in part four, I will give you a bonus tip on how to stay committed to achieving the life you want. You've probably heard of some aspects of this video that I'm gonna be talking about before, or if you haven't, it's a very, very simple technique that I use to achieve one, my goals. I achieve one goal after another, after another. And if you watched any of my previous videos, I've summarized all the goals that I achieved in 2022. And this is all thanks to this technique that I use always in my daily life. I encourage everyone else to use it as well. And I'm very, very excited to share this technique with you because it's it's so so good it's so helpful there are a lot of books on feelings and how you want to change your feelings to change your reality and to change your life and there are also a lot of books on affirmations and how to change your life with affirmations and i believe that these notions are pretty much almost opposite because when we are tackling feelings we are tackling our emotions we are tackling our inner state and when we are doing affirmations we are pretty much tackling our thoughts why affirmations don't work and i'm not trying to say here that affirmations don't work at all affirmations definitely have their place uh, they help us feel better about ourselves they help us feel better about our life but they don't really help us change our life and the reason behind it is that affirmations as i mentioned they tackle our thought and when we repeat one thought constantly it does make us feel better but at the end of the day repeating the thought doesn't take us to where we want to be in the future but if we're talking about feelings feelings is actually something that always leads to changing the life and focusing on feelings instead of focusing on thoughts always leads us to experiencing more of those feelings that we are focusing on let's say if we are experiencing the feeling of gratitude we will attract more events in our life that we will be grateful for if we're experiencing the feeling of joy we're gonna have more states when we feel joyful if we're experiencing a feeling of generosity we're gonna have more things that we will be capable of sharing with people it's very simple and it always works probably most of us heard about high vibration and low vibration feelings and we do want to experience more of the high vibration feelings because that's what we ultimately want to attract to our life when we do experience high vibration feelings that's what we attract if experiencing low vibration feelings that's what we attract as well it always works whatever you're experiencing you're attracting now how can we actually force ourselves to experience more high vibration feelings there are three steps that we can do to experience high vibration feelings constantly without focusing on each and specific situation or specific feeling number one is to get the necessary skills and knowledge to be happy and to feel fulfillment in your everyday life this is more so of a practical step because what it means is that let's say if you're unhappy with work what can you do what other skills and what other knowledge you can get to move somewhere where you will be more happy so in this step we really really need to realistically look at the situation we're right now without avoiding without denying and see the truth of how we feel Feel, what we do and then based on that implement skills and knowledge to progress in our personal life even this piece of content that you're watching right now is a certain knowledge that you can use to improve your skills into creating a better life for yourself creating a new reality all the skills and all the knowledge is the first most important thing that you need to experience more positive and high vibration feelings in a sustainable way step number two it is important to work on your boundaries boundaries is something that we have 
to cherish ourselves, take care of ourselves, of our emotions against the outside world and against the noise from the outside world. When we don't have the boundaries, we are accumulating positive high vibration feelings over a certain period of time. And then when someone breaks the boundaries with us, all this positive vibration we throw out into the world to be give to this person who broke the boundary. And in return, we get low vibration feelings. And then we start the process again. We encourage the positive high vibration feelings and again the boundary is broken and we give it all away and in return we get the low vibration feeling. And thus we simply turn into low vibration recycling factory because we produce positive high vibration feelings, give them away to the world and then receive the low vibration feelings and then we recycle them into high vibration feelings and again give back to the world and the way to work on your personal boundaries is quite simple you at any point in time in your daily life you always have to ask yourself the questions does it actually work for you how do you feel in this situation how do you feel around these people does that work does that make you feel happy does that what kind of feelings does it evoke in you it's always important to focus on your boundaries and to always maintain your boundaries to have a sustainable source of high vibration feelings. And step number three is getting to know yourself. It includes self-love, self-care, the more we know ourselves on a deeper level, the better we can manage our feelings and our emotions, the better we can sustain our personal boundaries and the better we can accept new skills and knowledge to create a better life for ourselves. And now, speaking about affirmations, you can absolutely and totally use affirmations as an additional source of positive emotion that pops in here and there while still focusing mainly on the feelings that you're experiencing. Now, let's summarize everything. So you have your big goal. You want to change your reality. You want to change your life. You want to change your career. You want an X, Y, or Z. You focus on the goal. You always keep it in mind. You can have your vision board hanging on the wall or you can have a vision board on your phone or whatever it is that reminds you of your big goal. And then after we establish the big goal, after we know what is the final destination, we want to focus on the emotions. We want to focus on our feelings, on day-to-day -day feelings and not just in the moment feelings when something good happened and we feel good and then the next moment something bad happened and we just dropped to the low vibration level. We want to have it in a sustainable way. And in a sustainable way, what we want to do is we want to get to know yourselves on a deeper level. We want to create boundaries and we want to have new skill set and new knowledge in order for us to support the path to the life that we want, the new reality that we want to create. This is a very simple way to create in the reality that you love and you want in your personal life. And now my bonus point, it's important to remember about the rule of compounding. We use the rule of compounding when we invest and it feels absolutely fine with us. But at the same time, we don't really remember about the rule in our day-to-day -day life. The same rule of compounding applies when we are going towards our goal. If we spend a little bit of time each day on getting to our dream, on getting your knowledge, getting your skill, creating the boundaries, getting to know yourself better, connecting with yourself on a deeper level, we're gonna compound that and achieve the goal faster. To make this rule of compounding work, you need to spend at least 90 minutes a week for your end goal, for strive to achieve your end goal, to spend in time with yourself, to develop in your inner qualities and to work in on your emotional sustainability, to achieve your goal. If we break it down, I am horrible at math, 90 minutes divided by seven days. So we need to spend 13 minutes a day to get towards our goal. And it doesn't mean that it's going to be getting your skills every single day. Maybe one day you will be working on your personal boundaries. The other day you will be connecting with yourself, getting to know yourself better, trying and testing new ways that you can sustainably have high vibration energy flowing within you. And this absolutely always works. The more you focus on your feelings and emotions, the better chances you're gonna change your reality.